Okay, Saturday morning in the kingdom, and Johnny emailed last night with the new link, or the, yeah, the uh, link, or whatever, yeah, the home address for the new weather network. So he's clicking on the old one, didn't go anywhere. It was just locked in at miscellaneous temperatures. So now we have the official temperatures here in the kingdom. So this morning when I got up, it was plus eight, but feels like plus six, so that's chilly willy. And then on the yo-yo scale, plus 46 Fahrenheit, but feels like plus 43. Yes, it's chilly out here, yeah. But also too, it's Saturday, and we're gonna go on location. Yes, just like Les Nessman, yes. Also too, this morning when I came out, the flag of Alaska was the only one that was not tangled up because it's an independent state located over there, yes. And they have resale value on their properties. They have the same weather, the same everything as us here in the kingdom. But we have no resale value. All right, so it's going to be a short intro today. Once the staff is done shopping at the store, then I'm going to hop in the 48 Chevy sedan delivery and travel east to where the fire was. Yes, so we can film on location to show how black and sooty and everything like that is. Yes, the Swedish kid will be proud because I'm on location filming, yes. All right, I better go, here comes the boss. Saturday morning in Whoville, and as you can see, it's still pretty cloudy and chilly here, even the wind's kind of picking up as well. Now it's time to head inside and make breakfast, let the dogs out, and then I gotta go shopping at the Northern later on and go pick up a few things and load the cards so we can do some online purchases and pay for our Starlink, because the last thing we need is our internet running out. 9 a.m. and I'm getting ready to go shopping at the store in Whoville here. I got the water jugs and list all ready to go. I like to go nice and early so I don't have to run into anybody. I'd rather stand outside waiting for the store to open for 10 minutes than to run into other people. It's getting pretty windy out there today so I'm not sure what we'll be doing.
On standby, waiting for my dad to come back from checking out that fire down at mile 10. He took the 48 sedan delivery. Hopefully he has a smooth ride out there. That thing hasn't really been on the highway in a long time, so hopefully he doesn't break down. But if he does, I'll go out and get him. He's going about 10 miles outside of Whoville. The kingdom's right here, and if you follow this road all the way down, kind of right in where this circle is and stuff is where he's going. It says Cockrum Lake right there, but you can't tell it because of the marker. But he's going about 10 miles outside of town because that fire took out all right here. Now we wait. Okay, we're on location where the fire crossed the highway here. The 48 Chevy sedan delivery is running good. Yes, I'm standing on the highway. There might come a vehicle come along. So it was last driven on the highway in 1979. In 2015, we drove it two miles out of Tuville and back. All right, so everything is going good. The fire crossed the road right here. Okay, and it's important to note that's the hydro line that comes off the kingdom. So if the power line got burnt, I would have no power because we're all connected. All right, let's turn around and head back to Whoville. We'll document more of the trip on the way back. Look, there's a the helicopter. Oh, try to stay on the road. Just driving along in the 48 Chevy sedan delivery. And we're having fun, I think. All right, that's the burn right there. This thing sure does have a smooth ride. It's like riding in the Cadillac on these rough roads. All right. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's a water line running along the highway here. They're pumping water about a kilometer and a half, which is about a mile, I think. I don't know. Can you see it there? Unreal. All right, this is a fun ride. We're pulling about 70 kilometers an hour, which is probably about 45, 40 miles an hour. Everything is good. We've got 15 pounds oil pressure, which is good for this Babbitt motor. It's a splash motor. Yes, let's go down here for this bump. I don't know if this is recording, but we're having fun. All right. Sitting outside waiting for my dad to come back. That way I can record him coming up the driveway here and past the King of Obsolete sign. I don't hear him yet, but I'm sure when he gets closer, I'll be able to hear him because that vehicle is kind of loud. No, all I hear is helicopters and a semi. Okay, coming up to this bridge up here. It's always a little rough for some reason. We don't know why. Oh, wait. We live in Stalin's Russia. All right. So I'm just letting third gear slow me down. A little bit of foot brake. All right. Across the bridge we go. Bumpity bump. All right. Now we'll kick that one barrel carburetor down to the floor. And feel the blessed burst of acceleration. Just like the Blues Brothers in their cop car. So chilly this morning. It feels like it could rain or snow. I'm excited for snow because that means I get to take my skidoo out. And we'll get to go on, on the cat train trails and go around the kingdom in the bush. I'm not looking forward to shoveling all that snow though. Okay, those triangles mean slow down or stop. Oh, is it ever rough? Okay, welcome to Wilderness, Alaska, but in northern Manitoba. Oh man, it's rough. When a vehicle breaks down, it's here for a long time, so they put up uh, the triangles. Yes, you don't hit it in the middle of the night. It could be there a week, it could be there two weeks, or a month. Who knows? Who cares? We're having fun. He's been gone about half an hour now. Hopefully he's not broke down somewhere, starting to get a little worried. The only downside about living up in the north here is we don't have cell service, so we can't just call each other up and tell me he's broke down somewhere, so I just gotta wait patiently and see. Hopefully he shows back up. If not, I'll go out looking for him. Okay, here we're meeting Johnny. Everybody wave at Johnny. There he is.
way the staff was correct when they had the roadblock set up at the garbage dump here so you can turn around and go back. So that's good to know. That way uh, you can turn around. There's room here at the garbage dump or that gravel pit. Oh, I'm confused. I don't know. I better focus on driving. I really hope he doesn't break down because I don't feel like going all the way out to go rescue him. It is supposed to be a relaxing Saturday. It is chilly out there. I'm just waiting for him to come around the corner where that loader is down at Nick's shop. Then he'll come up this way and all the way up the driveway into the kingdom. Okay, we're doing good. Maintaining 60 to 70 kilometers an hour because we're breaking in the motor. Yes, we have to break it in again. And look at the speedometer, it goes up to 100 miles an hour. That must be a pretty big hill to go down. All right, we're coming up to the kingdom. We'll try a drive by. Oh, there's the stop. She's out here filming me. Excellent thinking. She is the director, Steven Spielberg. All right, here we go. Okay, the stop is filming me. I'm filming her. Excellent. As I speak, here he comes. Well, his brake lights work. And here he comes. I was just starting to get worried and get a search party ready for him. Okay, back in the kingdom. Oh, the memories of 1979 riding around in the sedan delivery when I lived in the south. Unreal. The memories. Plus, we got to meet Johnny there. He was dropping off the beer. I don't know what he was doing, but he said he was coming over. Maybe he had to pick up some beer. I don't know. Well, we better get to work. Here comes the boss. Not sure why my phone didn't record the video of me coming back from shopping, but for two water jugs and one bag it was $90. These guys were on sale, so I made sure to stock up on those. And they also had potato wedges, which were on sale as well, so I grabbed a bag of those, but they're over at my dad's so he can have some for supper. Now it's time to make lunch and let the dogs out. Coffee time now, and I'm just waiting for my buddy to show up so we can head out fishing. This is the temperature we're sitting at now. It's 15 degrees Celsius, which is 59 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a bit of a wind, as you can see. The sun's trying to come out, too. I just seen it a couple minutes ago, and now it's back behind the clouds. Now I'm going to get ready, let the dogs out, wait for my buddy, and end my day. Okay, 5 o'clock in the kingdom. We're done for the day. we got to finish that remote living book, okay? All right, that way people are depending on me to have stuff for a uh, fire starter for their wood stoves. It was good to drive the 48 Chevy sedan delivery. Brought back memories to 1979 when we cruised down the highway in it. And I had hair because I was just a wee lad back then. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, and make a video. We'll talk to you guys later.